Hello there! Welcome in new tutorial where we will be modeling exactly this castle in Blender. It will be a little bit different kind of tutorial, so... So start with creating cylinder and place it just where you need. You can change the position of tower as well if you want. Just focus on how you want it to look like in the end. Now select upper polygon and extrude it. Now select all the polygons on the sides and extrude them along the normals. And now you can play with shape just a little bit. Use S for scale and G for moving in along the axis you just want. Click Ctrl R to split polygons and then select all the lower ones and extrude them along the normals. Like that you can create some interesting shape. And now you need to manually select all these edges. And use view from side and then view from up to deselect all the edges you don't want to use. But make sure that you have selected all of those you want because as you can see I have missed one so I need to fix it. Now let's use Ctrl V to bevel it again and wheel on your mouse to create one more edge in the center. And again extrude it out along the normals. Our favorite thing to do, right? Everyone loves extruding. Select those edges in center and if using S for scale you can scale it down, which in this case means you will scale it into the mesh. Yeah, now it's confusing, but ours made will work. See? Alright, now we see there are some deformations in the mesh, so we will fix it by selecting all the verticals, clicking F3 to search, and write, write there to sphere. Now on the lower and down you have you can select how much you want it and you want maximum because you want to have it as flat as possible. Now bring it, bring it down and you can extrude again. And now if you look at it, it is provide a nice clear mesh. Um, Alright, let's create some windows. You already know how to do it if you have seen my tutorial, see, uh, my tutorial how to create. Tower. We will use Ctrl R to split polygons and then let's move it all down with changing cursor setting. And then with a bevel, you can create this great shape of doors. I have skipped one one, let's ignore it, I don't have time to fix it for you, you can do it yourself. <laughs> Alright, now let's extrude it out, scale it a little bit down, or move it, it's up to you. Then insert it again, and scale it all back in. Now 
most of the time here we are extruding along the normals. Here you can do the same thing with the windows, but it's up to you. Alright, now when we have a base basically done, let's copy it and create another building. Rescale it just as you need. And we will create two more buildings like this. Yeah, it would look weird if it was just like that floating in floating above the rocks, so Let's bring those edges down so that it look like it's actually there. And now select all the edges above and extrude it. Click Alt M and merge it in the center. All right, now let's create, create balcony. As you can see, most of the time I'm just using extruding either normal or along the normals and moving everything. Sometimes scaling it. But that's actually everything that it is to it. Alright, now, now I'm extruding it and choosing only one axis, in this case Z, to create this underfloor. Now let's Create our little walls on the balcony. Now again select everything and extrude along the normals. Now select all the edges in the center, bring it, bring it more in the center and create our great roof. Remember when I said roof? I was lying. We will create another floor. Well, let's just make a quick time lapse of it because we already know how to do it. And now when we are creating our little tower on the top, let's create here a fancy Byzantian stuff. I don't know how it is called, just let's call it stuff, alright? Cool. Alright, I'm basically just using Ctrl R for splitting for splitting polygons and then Ctrl D for beveling it. Alright, now let's select polygons on all three floors, from the, the polygons on the roofs, insert them a little bit and extrude them down. And now by using S for scale, we can we can make that quite a nice effect like it's like it's hanging out of there. Right, and now let's create the same effect we did in the lower floor. There we have our wonderful castle. Let's create more windows because that's what we are here for, aren't we? So let me know how does your windows look like. You can 
you can tag me on Instagram and show me what you can do with it. Because I really wonder how does your Windows look like. And it's not because I wanna steal your anything from you, but I'm just gonna stop talking. Alright, let's get back to wars. Let's get back means we will start wars. So I just created basic cube and let's place it in between towers. They are on the same level of each tower. Which mean, uh, in this case it's almost in half. So the walls should be exactly in the cent in the center of these towers. Let's use Ctrl R again to split polygons and create some great walls or just upper walls. How the hell is this called? Alright, now we did a little screwed up, as per respectively I did. So let's fix it by clicking Ctrl R in the center above on all these polygons and then clicking on verticals which are not connecting and connecting them by clicking Ctrl J. And now you can bring it above. Just make sure that you use a right orientation for your mouse. See? That's not mouse. Now we can now we can hang out some walls of our enemies there. Alright, let's copy it and create let's copy it and put it in between another towers because nobody wants to do it again, right? And there we have a little problem. Because our wall is too short, so we will copy part of it. Not all of it. Only the part we need. Click Ctrl D for copying that. Change orientation. And, and move it. Alright, another one here. And now you can see that it doesn't look exactly right, so we will use soft selection above. And with your mouse wheel, it will bring it up so you control more bigger part of the mesh and just move it like you did before. As you can see that circle is getting bigger if you scroll your mouse up and you control bigger part of your mesh. Okay, it looks like some kind of weird Disney castle, but let's not talk about that. Your castle is probably done, modeled, and prepared to defeat against any enemies. Only thing that remaining from me is to ask you to post it on Instagram and tag me there because I want to see what you do, honestly. I would like to see. That's about it. Uh, endings are really not my strong suit, so 